1.4 is about um, production possibility frontier. Um, you'll also see that called the production possibility curves. Um, so we have one standard here, user production possibilities curve to explain the concepts of choice, scarcity, opportunity costs, trade-offs, unemployment, productivity, and growth. Um, so in order to be able to do all that, you have to understand the ideas of choice, scarcity, opportunity costs, and trade-offs. Um, the other thing, uh, the other three things we'll look at as we go through um, the production possibility curve, and they're pretty self-explanatory, but the other ones, if you don't know what they are, none of this will make any sense. So um, here are your ICANN statements. Go ahead and print those off. Here are your resource questions, and those resource questions just go with this video here. Um, there is another one of those economics and movies. Um, I've got a handout attached to it. Once again, it's just another way of looking at it to hopefully help you. If you understand it, um, then you don't necessarily have to do it, but it's just another way of getting the information. Some handouts. This right here, um, I'll go ahead and pull that up. Really, really good resource. It is just some notes um, explaining the production possibility curves. It might look a little overwhelming, so I would actually use this more as a review tool um, after you've watched the videos, then go back and, and look at each one of these examples. Um, but this basically has everything you need to know about the production possibility curves. Not necessary um, that you print it off, um, but everything that you're going to be tested over is on this piece of paper right here or on this uh, website right here. Good, good resource. Um, understanding graphs and then a packet. Um, to practice some production possibility curve things that you learn from watching the video. Um, we're going to do just a short activity in class together as a whole. Um, some of the things I will work with groups. Um, my goal is to have days where um, we come together and I do activities as a whole. Hopefully you are where you should be um, when we get to this activity. I think it's going to be beneficial whether you're at this point or you're even farther. Um, that's not a problem. Um, then I also have a place here where it says additional practice handouts. I haven't posted those yet, but I will get those on there because this is definitely um, graphing, reading graphs, and the more practice that you can do, the better off that you are. So um, then I have posted here a review video. Um, I think it's a really good resource. Once again, it's only a little over five minutes long. But once you've gone through the whole entire 1.4 um, part of this uh, unit, then I would go back, and if it makes perfect sense, then you're good to go. Um, this is the last um, standard that we're going to do before I give you your first summative test. So you will be tested over all of this on your first big test. So as soon as you feel like you're ready, You've got your three ring binder that's organized um, and has all of your handouts completed, all the activities done. Um, um, you'll be ready to take the tests. Now if you finish all the handouts and activities before we actually get to the in-class things and you want to continue on, that's fine as long as you understand what you're doing. Um, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs>